In Toulouse, Liber Aerospace is more than a little proud of its latest investment, worth nearly one and a half million euros. Weighing in at 23 tonnes and measuring four metres long, this new vibration test bench will allow the equipment manufacturer to certify that conditioning packs meet universal norms. This marks a big step forward for the company, as Mirai Lemerson, head of Lieber Aerospace's R&D test department in Toulouse, explains. Prior to this, vibration tests for the packs were carried out externally, but for some types of equipment, this was no longer possible, because over the last 10 years, the level of vibration tests requested by clients has increased considerably. Before being integrated into a new model of aircraft, all new equipment must be certified. It's obligatory for all air conditioning packs, for example, to pass the vibration test. Over four or five days, the equipment must be shaken around in all directions, up to two and a half thousand oscillations per second. There are two stages in a vibration test. During the first stage, the equipment must be subjected to the same kind of vibration limits it will experience on an everyday basis. This is to check that it continues to function correctly, that its fan still works properly, for example. The second stage is an endurance test, during which we simulate the equipment's length of service in an aircraft and check that it's still operational. Next year, over 50 different types of equipment will pass through the vibration tests. They're positively trembling at the thought of it.